Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Still remain Mr. Michael, and thanks for joining me today again on this topic, present and past perfect tenses. All right, we are going to be looking at some exercises on this topic, which are introduced to us last class, present and past perfect tenses. I was, I, or we were able to, to discuss what present perfect tenses are and also what past perfect tenses are. And I remember telling all the use of the have, has, and had. Yes, I made mention of the have, the has, and the have. And I said most kids usually find it difficult to use some of these modal verbs correctly. If you actually follow me through the previous lesson, this we have on the board here will be very, very easy for you or for us to do together. Now, what did I tell you is a, pre is a present perfect tense. I said in the last class that this present perfect tense it tells you what had happened before the present, an action that had taken place before the present. And that's why we make use of the modal present verb have or has when it comes to the present perfect tense. We make use of have or has. And there are some pronouns that we can use together with your have and there is so we can use together with has. For example, I told you in the last time that we can say I have, you have, we have, they have. And not I has, you has, they has, or we has. No. We can only use she has, he has, or it has. Now, this is to tell you that whenever you ask to write a sentence in a present perfect tense form, you are going to make use of either of this. Now, past perfect tense, past. An event does it already happened before the last. An event that had already happened before the last. And that is why we make use of the modal verb had. We make use of this auxiliary verb had. Had. I had. She had. They had, he had, and what have you. Coming back to what we have on the board, we are going to be doing these exercises together. Exercise A. Rewrite the sentences in the present perfect tense. Rewrite the sentences in the present perfect tense. Look at number one. How can we rewrite the sentence in the present perfect tense form? He goes to the party. He goes to the party. Now, how can we introduce here I have or has. Remember, he. So it goes with has and not have. He has. So how can I make my present perfect tense? 
here. He goes to the party. He goes to the party. So this becomes he has gone to the party. He has gone to the party. You can see how I've introduced my hands. He has gone to the party. He has gone to the party. Everyone, he has gone to the party. Fantastic. Number two. What do you think the present perfect tense of this word, of this sentence will be? She eats dinner. She eats dinner. This will become She has eaten dinner. She has eaten dinner. Number three, Oscar likes to play soccer. Oscar likes to play soccer. This become in the present perfect tense form. Oscar has played soccer. Oscar has played Soccer. Oscar has played soccer. Number four. Four of us play the drums. Four of us play the drums. Now changing the, this to the present perfect tense gives you four of us. Now the longer has. But four is more than one. So four of us have played the drums. Four of us have played the drums. Take note of all this. Number five. The policeman arrests the criminals. The policeman arrests the criminals. Changing this to the present perfect tense form gives us the policeman, the policeman have arrested the criminals. The policemen have arrested the criminals. David sleeps for eight hours. David sleeps for eight hours. David has slept for eight hours. David has slept for eight hours. So this is how you can form or you change any sentence to the present perfect tense form. He has gone to the party. She has eaten dinner. Oscar has played soccer. Five of us have played the drums. The policemen have arrested the criminals. David has slept for eight hours. So whenever I give you sentences to change to present perfect tense, I believe you can do them yourself now. All right. Coming here to the others of the ball, we have another exercise. We are asked here to complete the sentences using past perfect tense. Here we 
we dealt with present perfect tense, now we are dealing with past perfect tense. Like I told you here, you must introduce the past form of have and has. The past tense of have and has. And the past tense for have and has is had. 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 So with this, remember after this auxiliary verb had, your past participle verb must be in the past tense form. Now we have here the fire dash already reached the roof by the time the fireman arrived. The fire dash already reached the roof of the by the time the fireman arrived. Past tense of have and has had. You now change your verb to past form reached. Reached. So this gives you the fire had already reached the roof by the time the fireman arrived. The fire had already reached the roof by the time the fireman arrived. Number two, Joe Smith went to prison because he dashed steal a lot of money. Joe Smith went to prison because he does steal a lot of money because he had stolen remember the past tense was still Joe Smith went to prison because he had stolen a lot of money he had stolen a lot of money Number three, Lorenzo Dash eat all the ice cream before I open the fridge. Wow. Lorenzo had eaten. Lorenzo had eaten all the ice cream before I opened the fridge. Number four. The girl felt guilty because she dash drank all the meat. Sorry, the girl felt guilty because she dash drank all the milk. The girl felt guilty because she had because she had drank all the milk. The girl felt guilty because she had drank all the milk. Five. My father couldn't find the money because he had, remember, had, had, had. My father couldn't find the money because he had hidden, not hide, hidden, hidden it in a drawer. My father couldn't find the money because he had hidden it in a drawer. So as you can see, when you're dealing with past perfect tenses, introduce the past form of have and as, which is had. Then you change your verb to the past participle. Reached past participle. Then for present perfect tense, you remain the pre in the present using the have or has, but you change the verb to the what past participle also has gone has present gone past has present eaten 
past, has, present, played, past, have, present, played, past, have, present, rested, past, has, present, slept, past. Thank you.